Well, on the personal email of former Trump campaign advisor Roger Stone, hacked by Iranians reportedly, Trump's campaign was the reported target, and now the FBI is investigating. Pleased to bring in right now Roger Stone to discuss this and other Road to 2024 headlines. Roger, always good to have you in. Thanks for having me. So you get a call from the FBI and Microsoft. How did this go down? How were you alerted that your email was hacked by Iranian hackers? Well, let me be precise. Uh, both uh, Microsoft and the FBI contacted me to tell me that my uh, that two personal email accounts uh, that I have have been compromised. They did not specifically say they were hacked. In fact, we're not certain how they access them. Mm -hmm. uh, I asked for what purpose this would be have been done, and I was told uh, in order to send outgoing uh, emails to officials in the Trump campaign, uh, which would include links that if they clicked on them, I would give them access to their computers. Uh, in truth, that's all I really know. I was advised to uh, change uh, my passcode, uh, add uh, second party verification, change the passcode <laughs> yeah. currently. There's I nothing particularly sensitive uh, in the these emails, uh, but uh, at this juncture, that's all I really know. Yeah, I, I would think you'd get on changing that password uh, ASAP when you get that type of call. But the broader issue is Iran is meddling. Iran has, you know, people uh, we know that want to do harm and uh, destabilize the election. You've got Joe Biden at the beach over the weekend here, and we're talking about Israel bracing. This is the, this is the commander in chief at the beach. Iran is watching this. Israel is bracing. Uh, you know, these hackers getting into not just your email, but reportedly other uh, Donald Trump said over the weekend his campaign was also hacked. Uh, they are there are two, three steps ahead of us, Roger. And what's your biggest concern here as we look towards this election now and with effectively Kamala Harris just, uh, you know, sort of running a basement campaign, if you will, like Joe Biden did in 2024? Well, first of all, there is a certain logic to this. I mean, Donald Trump, uh, as president, uh, had starved the Iranian regime. Mm -hmm. uh, his actions were so harsh that Iran was unable to continue their nuclear weapons development program. Yeah. But more important, perhaps, or just as importantly, they were unable to subsidize terrorist groups like Hamas and Hezbollah so that they could attack Israel. So uh, you can see why the Iranians would be opposed to Donald Trump's return uh, to the White House. Uh, in the meantime, what we have going on in the country is Kamala mania. It's essentially a PSYOP uh, using, uh, using uh, not only AI, but also uh, using uh, the mainstream media, inflating polls with a disproportionate number of Democrats, oversampling Democrats to show the sudden surge in popularity in vote share. That's bogus. Talking about you, New York Times, Siena College. Right. Uh, also, this whole, this whole notion that she's now suddenly wildly popular. She's taken in millions of dollars small campaign contributions from Act Blue, but many journalists have documented the fact that a number of those contributions didn't really come from the people who allegedly mm -hmm. sent them. So I think mm. it is, uh, I think it is, uh, uh, it's an optical illusion. Uh, the race is still close. Uh, anything can happen here. Uh, mainstream media so uh, coverage her has been pointing. Uh, at the same time, uh, on social media, we know there's going to be the same kind of censorship uh, and uh, cancellation of those who are pro-Trump. I got 20 seconds, Roger. What's your message to the Trump campaign? The DNC is coming up next week. You know what they're going to do. They're going to put out, you know, celebrity mania to add on to Kamala mania here. If you're on his campaign and you're inside right now, what do they do to uh, to kind of get the, the facts out to the American voters of what you just said when they have this machine on the left here trying to woo people with celebrity star power? Well, let me say this exactly as Donald Trump himself would say, and that is run your campaign as if you are behind regardless of the reality. Every single count vote count. This is going to be very close, uh, very uh, hard fought. But uh, the president going on X with Elon Musk last night, which got almost, I think, one billion views now, is a perfect example of how you combat the disinformation being pumped out by the Democrat media cabal and the Kamala Harris campaign.